A mural that graced the side of a downtown Vancouver building for more than three decades is no more. The owner tells CTV News the facade had significant damage and the mural could not be saved during repairs. CTV's Ben Milger now on next steps for the six-story tall blank canvas. The Rando Building has stood on West Georgia since 1929. In the early years, an insurance company advertised on its broad, windowless, east-facing wall. During a 1991 renovation, the owner commissioned this replica of a centuries-old engraving of goldsmiths at work in Germany. So we did the whole thing in three weeks, dawn to dusk. It was just, uh, it was, yeah, it was... <laughs> It was a really fast job. The mural was in place for 32 years, but unfortunately, the wall recently needed major remediation work, and the already damaged mural was painted over. It's a shame that it's gone now. It's definitely, uh, I wish. I really wish that they'll, uh, they'll paint it back. Yeah, definitely. They should put something else, some artwork, like something related to Vancouver. We reached out to the owner of the building. They declined our request for an interview, but say they are in talks with the city about potentially applying for a permit to create a new mural here. City Hall says it considers location, scale, and content when approving permits for new murals, which it says should enhance community identity and the visual quality of the city. The original artist hopes new artwork will also honor the past, like her piece did. It speaks to the history of that building and Tony, the, the history of Tony Cavelti being in that building as a jeweler, um, as a goldsmith. Vancouver's rapid development could also impact the future of the facade. Well, hopefully something comes to replace it. I, who knows, maybe it'll be another building next door, though, given the way Vancouver's going. For now, passers-by will just have to use their imaginations on what is now a blank canvas. Ben Milger, CTV News, Vancouver.